What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm of course CM Pooman, wherever you may be and however you may be watching. Thanks for making this video a part of your day. So here we are in the second week of January. In the last video was Survivor Series. We had a match or we were going to cash in our money in the bank briefcase against Samoa Joe. And we did that, but before we could even get started, Randy Orton, that snake, came in, turned his back on CM Puma. And now he's dead to us. Samoa Joe got the win. We lose money in the bank. We lost our United States Championship because after that, we said, screw this nonsense. I'm tired of this place. I'm tired of getting left out in the cold. We quit. But then we've come back in January, talked to Vince, talked to Stephanie. We went out there and cut a pretty scathing promo. And now we are looking to beat some ass some monkey ass let's go we'll just kind of peek around the corner here see if uh, there's people in catering who's down the hall webster my man let's see metalik and neville nobody in catering all right so let's head back this way we can get a buff from talking to vince but man he's never there look at this big son of a bee he is always here. Why don't I see any other people on my friends list? Man, Steph's not here. What you got to say, Paul? Money, 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 money. Yep. I knew it. Mick's going to come back here and just yammer on about being too busy. Akira, what's up, dude? I hope you keep he kept hitting the gym because you know we have. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a specimen, Akira. Come on. Oh. Hey, you guys. Heard that McMahon personally welcome you back. That's rare. Yeah, well, I'm a rare bird. Or puma. All right, Todd. What do you... Come on. Your mic work last week was great, but let's show everyone you still got it. what it takes to be in the ring. You have nothing to worry about there. Hey, man, don't got to convince me of that. But there are people you should focus on impressing, on reminding them why you're the best. Um, yep. The only thing I intend to do tonight is send that traitor a message. Doubt he'll listen to reason. He doesn't have to. He just needs to know I'm coming to brutalize him. And then the last thing he expects, Puma's going to drop him with that Puma pedigree, I'm sure. See you after you clean house. Bam. Puma coming down to the ring. Of course, we no longer have that United States, United States championship. It got stripped away from us when we decided we were too good for this place but who is our who's our opponent here okay the lights aren't going out so it can't be anybody too scary is it who the hell is it oh okay it's carl anderson uh-huh you're gonna be the first one to feel that puma kick the puma pele kick the puma pedigree and that chicken wing gut buster. We're going to try that one like right away. All right, here we go. Uh -huh. Nope. That's, oh. Jeez. Can we get a match going for Pete's sake? Stupid Randy Orton. Man, ref, do something about this nonsense. Last time this happened, Joe cracked us over the head with a damn baseball bat. Oh, crap. Jeez. Todd, you gotta get. You know they gotta go right past you. He's such a sweetheart. Come on, you had to know this was coming at some point. Um, let's see. Baiting him was my intention. It's fine. My intention was to bait him into this, anyways. Well, it worked. We gotta, you know. What does that say? My little recording sign is in the way. Find a superstar to brawl with. Who's in here? Seamus? Okay, we can destroy Seamus. Can we fight? Oh, can we fight Mick? No, nope, doesn't look like it. All right. So there's Seamus. Let's go make the rounds and see who's available. There's the Miz. There's nobody in Steph's office. All right. Let's head out to the parking lot. Oh, man. Bray Wyatt. There he is. There's Randy. There's Randy. Oh, man. Do we just fight Randy? I mean... 
Management's been uptight. Okay. I think basically this means this wants us to fight with Randy. It just didn't. T oh shit! It's Brock. I don't think he was there just a second ago. Man, he loves to screw you over at the worst possible moment. Yeah, he does. We're about to attack him, and I want to see Brock Lesnar run off like a little girl. Oh! And Brock's nowhere to be seen. Oh, man. Randy, you... Oh, you piece of crap. You cost me the WWE Championship. Do you realize what you've done? Do you? No! Oh. Ugh. I don't think you understand the repercussions of your actions, Randy. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Too fast and, and a drop kick from Randy. Puma now. He's got he's to gotta step his game up, man. This is backstage. This is your former partner and best friend, Randy Orton. Oh, oh man. Whew. Randy, God, I can't believe you've done this. Brain buster out there on the hard cement. My goodness, Puma's a madman. Puma's a madman. Bend the knee, Randy. That's right. That's right, you bend the knee. This is my throne. Oh, boy. This is not... For you to sit upon. You're just some hired thug. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice. We reversed it. Very nice. You're just some punk. Who is doing... Oh. Who's doing the work... Of somebody else. Because you're a pile of garbage. Oh, an insiguri. Jeez. See, we can't get one more in before he... And Shining Wizard, very nice. Oh, man, oh, man. Let's back up. Come on, come on. Uh, and a backstabber to Randy Orton. Holy Toledo. Now I don't know how to do my, the Pele kick. Oh. And, oh, there's a big kick to the stomach. And a chop. Oh, holy cow. And an insecurity to boot. Dang. Puma is just putting it on Randy Orton right here. And he reverses. Come on now. He's not even waiting for Puma to get up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, get off me. Get. What'd I say? Get your ass off me. Man. And another kick. And, I mean. Okay, maybe we gotta be in the ring or something. Oh, jeez, Randy. Too fast, too fast again. Not that time. Oh, there it is. Boom. Pele kick to Randy. Oh, man. You know what? We got to get him over onto this car. We've yet to do a uh, car finisher. Uh-oh. Brain buster number two. Oh, no, that's just a suplex. Okay. Stand up, Randy. Is he gonna have his back turned? Yeah, he is. Here it is. Oh, oh man, right into the gut. Jeez, Louise, putting it on Randy right now. Get the. Oh crap. Oh, get out of here. Catch these feet, Randy. And bow. That doesn't quite put him out, but that's all right. Because I really want to try to do this car finisher. And I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, shoot. But that's all right. He's out of reversals. No, I don't have any. Oh, shoot. Too late. Oh, right on the back of the head. Oh, shoot. Okay. Not doing his signature, apparently. What's he trying to do? Has he got the cart? No. Yeah, you suck. Nope. Oh, dang it. Oh, my gosh. I thought we missed. Come here, Randy. We're just going to have to come over here. We're just going to have to do it. Woo. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. Get up, climb up on the car. Let's see if we can't get Randy to follow us. Come on, dude. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. And here's our finisher on top of the car. Oh, it's our regular finisher. Oh, no, it's not. We just throw Randy Orton off the top of the car. Holy cow. Put him in that ambulance. He's done. All right, let's go into week three here of January after we just put a damn beating on Randy Orton back here. Threw this fool off the top of the limo. Not what I was hoping for, but I'll take it. Nobody here respects me. You know what, Naya? Nobody here respects me. I mean, maybe Todd. And Vince, of course, calls him his son. But I don't know. Renee? Yeah, let's chat. Good luck out there tonight. Okay, so, uh, you know, we're not going to... We're not going to have an interview, but uh, that, that's fine. All right, let's see. Uh, Makira, I'm about sick of talking to him. There's Dean Ambrose. This week's got to go better for you. How can it not? Well, who knows what Samoa Joe and Randy Orton have in mind. I hear you have an opening for a new tag partner. Can I audition? What do you guys think? You think Randy or you think uh, Dean Ambrose would be a good tag partner? The insane Pumas? <laughs> that sounds awful. TJ, nobody really cares what you think, but since you're back here, I'm glad you beat that traitor down. That'll teach him. You know what? I do care what you think, actually, about that one thing. Vince is not in here. All right. Can, have we been moving up in our in our rankings? Here? No. Not at all. We still need 333 influence and only 78 there. But, man, this is taking for friggin' ever. Webster, what's up? Is Stephanie in her office? No, of course not. Why would she be? Jeez. All right, is, oh, okay, there's Kalisto and, old oh, I'm always too busy, Mick Foley. Prepare yourself, the champ will make himself known soon. And I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. Of course you do. Of course you do. Todd, tell me I have a, a real match tonight. Be honest with me. How does it feel to finally stomp his sorry ass? Oh, Todd, it felt... It... Oh, that came out weird. <laughs> it felt so freaking good. And we threw Randy off the car. That was the first time we've done that. Oh, man. Yes, indeed. Speaking of fans, you want to go talk to Renee about it? She's feeling pretty fired up today about the whole spectacle. All right, well, I mean, I guess. We just tried to talk to her, and she just said good luck. Well, let's get over there and chat it up with Renee. See what she's got to say about it. We're coming. And then we're doing our interview. Hello! There's much we could talk about with your return to WWE, but can you give us your thoughts on the series of ambushes that's happened between you and your former tag partner? Uh, yeah. First, Renee, let me say that it's nice to see you again. Secondly, I don't have a lot of time to waste thinking about that Claude. One goal drives me in, that is clawing my way back up to the championship. For now, my former tag partner is merely a stepping stone on that path. This is business. If I seem dispassionate, don't misread me. He and I are not friends, to say the least. And he can't come to my birthday party, which was going to be next weekend after the Royal Rumble. But Randy Orton is not allowed. Don't even give him a balloon. I'm just focused on my career right now more so than his existence. All right, let's go, talk. let's go back and talk to Todd. We're probably going to have to cut another promo because all of a sudden now we can't be in matches. I can't even, I don't even know what our last match was, like a real match. Todd, give me somebody to fight. All right, good interview. Those kind of reintroductions to the roster play great with the audience. Now that you talk the talk, you can walk the walk. Don't need to tell me twice. Go show them what you need. Hit two finishers on your opponent. All right, this sounds like we're actually going to have a match. So let's see who our opponent will be. Somebody awesome? Or is it going to be like Epico? Go oh, it's Goldust. Okay. I can handle All right. Here we go. I got kids too, man. That, that dude, I got kids. All right. CM Puma and Goldust. Let's do this. Let's go. Oh, okay. He's going to back up and just immediately hit us with that crucifix. 
I mean, Goldust didn't even warm up. Oh, and an elbow to the back of the head. Jeez, a second one. No. You're not going to get me a third time, Goldust. Are you freaking crazy? Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, we just barely got it. And another elbow to the back of the head. Get off of me. Jeez Louise. That dude, he's just putting it on us. I have no, no intention of getting blasted in the back of the head over and over again. Gold dust. I mean, my goodness. Uh. So... In the in this game, apparently the um, oh jeez, every freaking time. Apparently the um, the face paint can well wear uh oh will wear off if you put in a if you put in a uh, thing like Puma's got on his face now. If you choose that when you're creating to do it as a face paint, it should give you the option to like slowly wear it off. That'd be kind of cool, I think. Peyton Royce, you... That's right. That's right, babe. That's right, babe. Distract old Goldust. Distract him. Oh, perfect. Just in time. Get dropped on your face. Where's he going? Oh. Okay. Peyton's got... Threw the chair in. We're going to pick the chair up. And... I thought... Peyton was supposed to, to distract the ref the while we had the chair, the of the but it doesn't look that way. And oh, we get hung on the top rope. All right, we we had the chair, and I was told that uh, Peyton or your manager would distract the ref when you picked up the chair. Oh, man, that didn't happen. That would have been fantastic. And we're getting the hell beat out of us by freaking gold dust. Come on, man. Oh, okay, going for the pin. Uh, no. Get off me. Oh, man. This is bad news for CM Puma. We got to hit two finishers on Goldust. And we're not going to be able to do that if we don't get in this fight. And an insecurity. Very nice. Woo. Come on. Kick him. Oh, in the basement drop kick. That's a new move right there. I forgot about that one. We still, of course, have our regular afterglow uh, signature, afterglow kicks, and the uh, the one on the ropes, whatever, whatever that's called. I forget. All right. So we've got the. Oh boy. Nope. Can we reach him? Can we reach him? Can we? Okay, he's just going to come out. Dude, what the heck? Not cool, Gold Dust. Jeez. Here we go. And a, oh, nice, sit-out jawbreaker. We're going to get back in the ring just, you know, because I don't want to die. Or I don't want to get counted out like always. Ah! There we go. We can land on fools. We're gonna go way over here to this side and tell him to stand up, cause it's time. Oh, maybe he's a little close. Not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Holy Toledo! Back in the ring we go. I think we can do a shooting star. Oh, jeez. Or just you know that. Okay, come on, Puma. Get your crap together, man. Into the corner goes. Goldust and a big knee. And hooking him up. Drop the leg. Very nice. Very nice. All right, going up top. I don't think we even have to win. It just said perform two finishers. Oh, jeez. So let's see if we, we can't do that. There we go. There's a reversal from Goldust. Oh. Really? Jeez. Jeez. Come on now. Uh -oh, he's no, shoot. And a curtain call. 
Dang, he's going right for the pin. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Jeez. Holy cow. I thought that was it. This might be it if he hits it. Get off of me. What I said. Get off me. Oh, my gosh. We had an opportunity for one finisher, and he reversed it. Ugh. Crap. Oh, here we go. Perfect. You know what? Let's let's do this. If we can, we hit him with a move. Uh. Oh, we barely missed. Whoa. Backflip, baby. Here we go. Uh. Uh. Over the top. Is he crazy? Up top goes Puma. That's the way Big that's axe handle, nice. That's another. That's a new one too. The comeback there is new. Twice as nice. And here's our other signature, of course. If you guys got some ideas for signatures, let me know. We'll change some that's stuff it. up it's as we head into pay-per-views and whatnot. I don't think this is how gold does we do need to get a catch out. finisher since now we have the Here Puma Pedigree. Oh man, hooking up. Gold dust dropping him down and he's been busted man, open. He is a busted and open and bloody mess. Just went from oh man. Could do it. Count him out, ref. Done. The come to an oh man, we're busted wow. open too. When did that happen? Jeez. Well, there you go. CM Puma. Ah! We are pumped. And you know what? Just because. Uh -oh, uh, just because we had to be in this stupid match to begin with. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Uh. One more. And one to grow on, you goofy bastard. Here we go. Kick him. It's time for a power bomb on the steel steps. There's a lot of different ways this can go, Byron. Or yeah, not. Almost. There we go. Good. That's right. Get up. Uh, Here there it is. is. Puma pedigree on the outside. This one's over, guys. Oh my gosh! I thought we hit. We hurt ourselves. Look at that guy. He is. He's a little pumped up. He wasn't sure at first, but he's excited now. That's right, Puma. Taking it to gold dust. There we go. Todd's happy for us. Now that's how you do it. You got it. Start to finish. There was classic you. Great job out there. Thanks, Todd. We got that Puma Pele kick. The Puma pedigree. Oh. What? Hey. I mean, what's up, gold dust? Run in or not? You do decent work. Not great, but decent. Can I fight him again? Can I just punch him in his stupid pain in face? I don't think so. Like, like I mentioned before, I think after the match, you can't do anything. All you can do is leave or talk to people. Bray Wyatt, really weird. All right, can you bring me my, my Honda Accord? Yeah, it's the silver one. Thanks. All right, into the fourth week, and I think we're going to move on, and uh, this will be the start of the next video. Nobody bet. Bailey, hey. I know you're on the phone. I'm just going to interrupt your conversation. It's difficult to come back strong in the WWE, but you're doing it. You're damn right I'm doing it. All right, she's on the phone, but we're going to, well, I was going to try to, like, get in, get a selfie here with, with Bailey, but I can't turn around. There we go. Jeez. She's on the phone. She's ignoring me. That's okay. That is going to be it for this episode. A lot of fun stuff. We got the debut that... Puma pedigree. Um, if you guys want to see some other signatures, put them down in the comments. We'll see if we can buy them uh, with VC and stuff like that. So that is going to be it for this episode. Come on back for the next one. We got week four. And then it looks like the Royal Rumble. I don't know if we're actually going to be in the Royal Rumble because nobody's mentioned it to us yet. So far, it looks like we're trying to attack Randy Orton again or get our revenge on Randy. So we'll see what happens there. But come on back. Leave a like if you like what you saw. Subscribe if you're not. Come on back. The Royal Rumble's coming up. I'll see you soon.